These bookshelves look really terrible. Thank God I'm standing in for most of it. Hey guys, it's Adrian. Welcome back to my channel. In case you're wondering why my bookshelves look so empty, I'm here to bring you a continuation of a series that I did last year. Last year I did a three-part series of all the series that I am currently in the middle of finished or DNF. So this year I'm going to do them again. It's been a while. I was planning on doing them in February. But alas, here we are today in July and today I'm here to bring you the first in the three-part series. Today's video is going to be all of the series that I have completed since my last update video. Before we jump into all that, I will leave my series updates from last year in the description box below. You can go check them out because I have more information about the series themselves. In this video, I'm just gonna briefly mention the series that I have completed since then. And as usual, if you haven't yet, I'd love it if you could subscribe and click the little notification bell because then you'll be updated on the rest of this series updates that I'm bringing for you. The first series that I have completed since my last update was The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. These are sci-fi sort of fairy tale retellings but not entirely if that makes any sense but anyway since my last update I only had to read winter which I had been putting off for forever because of its length it's like over 800 pages long but I have read it for the series all in all for each book I gave cinder a 4.5 scarlet got a 4 cress got a 4.75 and Winter got a 5. This was probably one of the best conclusions to a series I have read despite the length. I was kicking myself for not finishing it. All in all, this series got a 4.5 for me. Really, I recommend it if you are sort of getting into sci-fi because this is a very tolerable sci-fi book. I'm not a huge sci-fi fan. They have to be easy to get into, easy to understand, and these definitely did the trick. The next series that I finished was Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rosh. I actually started and completed these series within a month or two. I just wanted to get the whole series done and over with so that I didn't prolong them, and they were quite nice reads. This one, again, is a series that I would recommend if you were just getting into fantasy because it's very approachable, it's very understandable, it's very easy to follow, and they're quick and easy reads. For this series, Snow Like Ashes got a 4 stars, Ice Like Fire got a 3.5 stars, and Frost Like Night got a 3 stars. So as you can see, they slowly get lower ratings. I think it has to do with them just being predictable and repetitive. But all in all, the series got a 3.5, which is not bad for an entire series. And like I said, they're very easily approachable. They're easy to read. They're just quick, easy, fun pace books. So if you're looking for a fantasy series for the summer that you can easily read, you're not quite in the mood for contemporaries anymore, but you don't want to read a tough fantasy book, I recommend these. The next series that I finished off since my last video was The Illuminae Files. I had already read Illuminae, so I finished Gemini and I finished Obsidio since the last update. And this, again, if you're not into sci-fi, I would recommend you read these because these are so fast-paced and so fun. They can be a little bit um, tricky to follow sometimes, but I didn't find them to be like overly ridiculous that you have to wrap your head around concepts that you can't understand. I quite enjoyed them. Both Illuminate and Gemini got a 5 stars and Obsidio for me only got a 4.5. Still a fantastic read. I just liked it a tiny little bit less than I like the other ones. But overall the series got a 4.8. Not bad. Next up is the Harry Potter series. I'm not going to pull out the whole, all the books because they're all the way on the bottom buried under all kinds of stuff. But I finally completed the Harry Potter series. If you didn't know, I hadn't actually ever previously read the Harry Potter series. So I worked my way through them and I finished the last two books, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. And I really enjoyed them. I didn't give them quite as high of ratings as everybody else did. I did enjoy them, but I was reading them as an adult. They did get a pretty high rating. I'm going to use my little cheat sheet over here because I can't remember all these books. But Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone got five stars. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets got five stars. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban got five stars. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire got 4.5 stars. Harry Potter and the Order and the Phoenix got 4.75 stars. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince got 4 stars. And Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollow got 5 stars. Putting this series also at a 4.8 for its entirety. That, for a series, is a really high score. So before all of you Harry Potter lovers go hating on me for not giving all of them 5 stars, still 4.8 is pretty good. The next series that I read I listened to on audiobook and that was The Themis Files by Neil Schusterman. I really, really enjoyed these and I am so glad that I did them on audio. The first book, Sleeping Giants, I actually 
did as a audiobook reading together with a book because a friend of mine had the book. But I found that reading the book itself didn't give it quite as much drama as the audiobook did because it's not written like the Illuminae Files which is more dossier and multimedia kind of thing. This one is more just interviews. So the audiobook I would recommend is the way to go and I really enjoyed them. For this series Sleeping Giants got four stars, Waking Gods got five stars and Only Human got four stars putting it at 4.3. I don't remember if I mentioned it already, but this last series, The Themis Files, I actually started from start to finish in a couple months, and I did the same thing with The Wayward Pines trilogy by Billy Crouch. I actually went into this first book, Pines, thinking that I wasn't going to finish the series because it ended up being a dystopian book that I didn't quite particularly enjoy instead of more of like a time travel um, parallel universe that I thought it was going to be. But I did pick up Wayward on a whim because I didn't have any other audiobooks to listen to and knowing what kind of book it was as I was going into it, I actually really did enjoy it. I thought it was fantastic. So that's just a lesson learned. If you think you're not going to like a series because you didn't like the first book, I would say at least give the second book a try by audiobook. I gave Pines a 3 stars, I gave Wayward a 4 stars, and I gave The Last Town a 4.75 stars putting this series at a total of 3.9 stars. Not all that bad for a series that I didn't think I was going to like in the first place. Next up is a series that only had one book left to read and that is the Infernal Devices series. I really enjoyed the first two. They weren't great. They weren't fantastic. I ended up listening to the last one on audio and the narrator was phenomenal. So I would recommend Clockwork Princess as audiobook whether you like audiobooks or not because it was just, it was just glorious. For the Infernal Devices series, Clockwork Angel got 3.5 stars, Clockwork Prince got 3.5 stars, and Clockwork Princess got 5 stars, putting this series at a 4. And as soon as I was finished with the Infernal Devices series, I had the Mortal Instrument series available on audiobook, so I listened to this entire series. Audiobook for this series is definitely the way to go for me. I don't think I would have enjoyed them as much reading them because they are sort of so-so series. But I'm gonna put these down before I drop them and hurt myself and then I'll tell you what I got gave these for a rating. City of Bones got a 3 stars, City of Ashes got a 3.75 stars, City of Glass got a 4.25 stars, that's surprising, City of Fallen Angels got a 3.5 stars, City of Lost Full Souls got a 3.5 stars, and City of Heavenly Fire got a 3.75 stars putting this series at a 3.6. Not a terrible series, not the best series in the world, not the worst series in the world, sort of middle of the road. We're almost at the end guys. Another duology that I started and finished also within a couple months of each other is the Monsters of Verity duology by Victoria Schwab. Half of the books series that I'm talking about I actually started and finished in the entire year which is really impressive for me. Applause for myself. This series is sort of a fantasy slash dystopian. I'm not really sure how to categorize it. It wasn't a terrible series. I really enjoyed the first book. The second book wasn't really my cup of tea because it ended up being more dystopian. I liked the first book because I liked the relationship that was built between our two characters. Uh, the second book was more end of the world, doom and gloom, and that's not really my thing. This Savage Song got a 4 stars and Art Dark Duet got a 3 stars, putting this duology at a 3.5 stars in total. And lastly is a series that I just recently completed and that is the Selection series. I had already read the original trilogy and I finished this past month the spin-off duology The Heir and the Crown. As far as the original trilogy goes, the first book got a 3.5 stars, the second book Elite got a 2.5 stars, and the one got a 4.25 stars putting the original trilogy at a 3.4. And for the spin-off duology The Heir got a 4 stars and The Crown got a 3 stars putting it at a 4.5 and that puts the whole series at a 3.5 stars. Those are all the series that I have completed since my last video in about a year and a half's time. If you enjoyed this, this video, give it a big thumbs up. Keep your eyes out for part two of my series, which comes out either in the next video or the video after that. But make sure you click the notification bell so you can get more updates. If you have not yet, I would love it if you would subscribe and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.